Hi, I'm Tim Bowman from Zometry. I'm an applications engineer for CNC Machining. I'd like to talk to you guys today about simple manufacturing tricks that can help you lower the cost of your components and also shorten the lead time. We have to keep in mind that most tools are eight times D, which means if it's 10 inches deep, you need a one and a half inch tool and therefore a three quarter inch radius. You can add in a radii that fits the bill of being eight times the depth. However, if you don't need a small radii for your form fit and function, the larger the radii, the faster this part can be machined. Once you get to a certain thickness on each material, it gets much harder to machine. You have to start worrying about stuff like chatter or breakage. Basically, you have to start machining really slow. This can add to cost and lead time. So if it fits your form, fit, and function, we always suggest that you leave a wall as thick as you can get it. It's common that people will drill a hole all the way through or drill it really deep and then they'll tap it the whole depth of the hole. Not necessary. The opportunity to reduce the cycle time and the cost of the part comes from the fact that six threads are just as strong as 20 threads. Always refer back to your form, fit, and function. What do I need this part for? If you have something that's supposed to be a press fit, indeed, make it a 5 tenths tolerance. However, if it's something that just fits in here, there's no reason to call out a 1 thousandths or 5 tenths tolerance on a dimension. It's just going to cost you more money. Also, it's going to take longer to make the part. Especially if you're prototyping, but even for production, think about the part and what I need it for. If you need non-magnetic, okay, you need non-magnetic. If you need stainless, you need stainless. But if you consider, the again, the form, fit, and function of the part, what you need it for, what's the best material for this job? Aluminum, of course, is going to be some of the cheapest material you can get machined just because you can machine it so quickly. If you don't need titanium, don't call out titanium. It'll cost you four or five times as much 4140 or any other steel or even six, seven times more than aluminum. If you're machining this part and you want the outside anodized, then you decide you want the inside powder coated. That's all manual labor. I have to mask all this, anodize this, then after anodizing, I have to mask all this, and then powder coat the inside. Many times that's not necessary. So again, think about what I'm using this part for, what costs me extra, what can I leave out, what can I add, what can I not over tolerance. So these are the basic things I, I wanted to cover. Most of this you can find in our design guide. If you guys want to try going on our website, uploading a part, you know, you'll get quotes back automatically. Our whole team is here to help you with any questions you might have. We're always available. Thank you guys for your time. Can't wait to talk to you again. Bye.